All right, good afternoon, everybody. So today I'm going to do a little video on, on grapes and the problems with grapes because grapes are one of those plants where if you want good grapes, you have to be really, really into grapes. Like they're not just one of those plants that's just like a byproduct of your food forest and they'll kind of just do their own thing. Like grapes have a lot of issues. And in fact, last, last year, this year, I was going to give up on grapes completely because of the issues with them. But I decided to leave these more or less in, in, the, in the back just so I'd have them as part of my, <clears throat> part of my test garden. So I left all these grapes this year. But I do want to talk about these because I've seen a lot of grape plants in the valley lately and they just don't look that great because of like I said the issues with them so I'll go over a few things with the grapes so first of all everything wants to eat your grapes everything wants to eat your grapes and everything wants to kill your grape plants okay so that includes birds so of course if you get grapes make sure you get at least two colored grapes get a green grape, light skinned grape, and get a dark grape because that way at least you'll get all the all the green grapes because the birds are always waiting for those to turn dark like the other ones and they don't turn because they're green. So you'll get all of those grapes. Whereas you might not get very many of the of the purple ones or the red ones. Uh, the key also the key is to just have so many just like anything else that it really doesn't matter if the birds eat what they want. I mean, there's probably, there has to be probably 500 clusters of grapes on these vines. I mean, cause they're just every, everywhere, everywhere you look, they're hiding. And so, you know, the guest house is just full of them, this barn. just completely everywhere you can look there's grapes so the birds love them but if you have so many of them just like everything else you'll get a really good harvest of grapes um, we are never going to get the size grapes that you see commercially unless you spray them with hormones or you thin them thin the bunches there's a couple ways to thin these um, you can either thin the clusters, like take off some of the actual whole clusters, or you can trim the, the actual cluster itself and take off half of them and leave the top half, which are usually the bigger ones anyway, and just reduce the actual size of the cluster. See, these are already starting to turn. But I just, I don't have time to do either one of those things. So I just leave them and let them do their own thing and then just come out here and, and eat what I, eat what I want off of them. Okay, so birds, birds are after them. Um, insects of all kinds. So you've got the leaf skeletonizer, which is a little black moth. It's about an inch long and it lays eggs on the underside of the leaf and then a whole bunch of little caterpillars hatch out and they start to eat their way across that leaf like an army they kind of move like an army and they skeletonize the uh the leaf so basically you can hold it up to the light and it looks like a piece of lace and then they just move on to the next leaf and move on to the next leaf and they really don't do a whole lot of damage because they only eat about nine leaves and when you have um per army but then of course that army all becomes more moths and then they go eat more and more and more so the problem is when they become an infestation obviously it's not just a couple of them now what i do find as an infestation which is something that probably most of you have is these is the leaf hoppers the grape leaf hoppers and what those do is those just suck the life out of the leaves. 
So let me see if I can find a, a good example of one because I'm sure well, I'll go to the front here in a little bit. This leaf like has a little bit of it. Um, do you see that kind of like little whitish sunken areas? And there'll be kind of little specks of black sometimes. Well, that's from them. Those things live on the bottom of the leaf and they suck the, the leaves dry basically. So they kill the leaf and just make it look horrible and mangled. See, this is kind of one that's kind of mediumly affected. I mean, I, I don't get them too bad. They're, they're really small. There's one right there. Real tiny little guys, and they're on the bottom of the... See it there? That is a grape leaf hopper. And they do a lot of damage. They can kill the plant or knock it back so far that you don't get good grapes because your leaves are your solar panels on your grapes, and if they're being sucked dry then they can't do what they're supposed to do and so you're not going to get good grapes um so yeah they become an infestation in my opinion it's not so much the the skeletonizer so you got those two that are after the leaves <clears throat> which are after your solar panels basically um and if you don't knock those back then you're not going to get good grapes thinning and then of course water like that's what grapes are like they're pretty much 99% water so if you want bigger inflated grapes then uh, you have to pump extra water to these and with all these clusters that are around here like I'm surprised any of these ooh there's ooh come here I'm surprised that any of these are even as big as they are so you see with so many of these clusters if you guys have left less, ooh, that's good, clusters, then your guys' grapes should be much bigger than all these anyway. This is just two plants, these two vines that, uh, oh, whoa, persimmon, woo! Little persimmon. It's cool, you, like, you don't really notice everything until you walk through a couple times, and then you're always noticing new, new things. In the yard, okay, where was I? Grapes. Oh, mangoes, whoa. That guy's getting good. Um, so yeah, all those things you have to do to those guys. <clears throat> and then, I don't, I they're a full sun plant. Like if you expect any kind of production off of grapes, the majority of the plant has to be in the full sun. Now the way I have these planted is the two grape plants themselves are down over here in the shade because this used to be different when I didn't have that shade screen up and so they were in the full sun. And so the, this plant is attached to this pole and then it vines <clears throat> out <clears throat> out into the sun so you see all of its and then the other one is actually over here on this pole and so it goes up it's got some pretty gnarly vines it goes up and that one goes up over the guest house and does all the vines that are up above us me Wow, look at all those grapes. And then it just vines out here into the sun, so it's taking all that solar power in, even though it's in the shade. So, that is a little video there on grapes. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.